Well, a very warm welcome to you on this most pleasantly clear evening. Conditions absolutely beautiful, perfect for the beautiful game. Temperatures are kind as well, no doubt playing a hand in high attendance levels as well as an elevated level of anticipation here. Surely this is the hot ticket going around in this neck of the woods. It surely must be. And we have in front of us this gloriously imposing arena, absolutely picture-perfect for a game of this nature. According to what we've been told, this is how it looks. It's a 4-3-3. Yeah, and the two wide players up front can make the system pretty much or fail. They'll be quite flexible in their creative movement. They like to drift in. At times, they'll mix their game up and, and keep their width. And of course, they're also expected to track any runs from opposition fullbacks. So they've got quite hard working jobs. But if they can gain a one on one advantage, they can dictate. Well, we're on the way. Well, that's where he wants it. Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. Can't get the better of his opposite number. Well, he's looking at the referee, but the referee is shaking his head. Tries to locate someone up front. He'll hit it! Disappointing finish in the end. That was good defensive pressure to give him less manoeuvring room. Oh, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Yeah, the idea was right, the delivery wasn't. They can revisit that further on. I wonder what you've seen, Jim, over the early moments of the game. Well, both sides seem happy with the patient approach for now, still trying to have a good look at one another. Oh, it's a fine challenge, and it goes his way. Forward it goes. No goals as yet. for the cross it's being played forward oh well intercepted really alert to the danger has a goal oh he has stuck it into his own net oh it's an unusual turn of events and it was an honest attempt to help out and I suppose it can happen to anyone Fortuitous as it may have been, they all count one. Well, you can't ask for much better than that, Peter. Bang, bang, two in double quick time. He's pinged one through here. Oh, well defended, that had to be... To He's gone for it! Made it short. In with the challenge. Regardless of the outcome, it is good to see someone running at the defence like that.
that's lovely. That is terrific skill. Delivers a crop. He's gone for it! Oh, just couldn't quite turn it in. O'Higgins can defend those situations better by stopping the crosser at source. Universidad Católica are playing with a pleasing width here, especially that front line. Is it working for you? Um, it's not movement for the sake of it, and yes, it is working for me. There's a purpose to, to create space. Up towards the front line. to hit the front line. <laughs> Keeper sends it forward. Now the counter. And the first 45 minutes are up. And there we are, off they go for half-time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. O'Higgins well, would seem to still be getting over the OG. It was an honest mistake, and they've got to move on. We're promptly into the second 45 minutes. O'Higgins well, need to get the balance right to sort this out. Ambition must be complemented by just the right amount of caution, and I think the more experienced players can oversee that. Quick pull forward. Time and again, they are repelled. Forward quickly. And the shot! It's in! A two goal lead, and they're firmly in control. Universidad Católica produced a lovely sequence of passes there. It's a terrific brand of football to watch, and importantly, it is a strong end product. starting to look very comfortable we're looking at a very different game now the command has been established hoist it forward cuts it out and it's played forward well, it seems obvious that the plan is to, to try and get their passing game going again. Real chance! That has certainly tested the keeper. Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra sharp. defending but that'll do this defense is is weary about opposition pace so they're just not getting too tight yeah they know that if they they step up their their keeper could get a whole lot busier <laughs> quick 
Quick glance at goal. Out to the left it goes. Oh, that is lovely footwork. Shoots! A collective sigh of relief from the defence. You lucky boy, you lucky, lucky boy. Giving the ball away like that is usually punished. And that has been cleared. Turns and goes, chance! And the ball's come out! Plays it out to the flank. Surely! Looks to drop one in. That's been lever clear. Just brushed off the ball there. Plays it out to the wing. And he's got the ball glued to his feet. Can he deliver? Incoming. Up he gets! And somehow he managed to miss it. Well, they're definitely going about things the right way, Peter. A goal soon can, can bolster energy levels now. Hoists it forward. Played out to the right. This game seems as if it's going to go beyond a rescue point, uh, so they need a goal and fast just to raise spirits and at least give their fans something to cheer. And the shot! And it's there! And the lead is three! It is surely done! Oh, high-quality goal, lovely first touch, sumptuous second. Ah, oh, now some movement on the bench, and we are going to see a change. Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who is going to be taken off. His energy levels began to, to sag, and he was never going to last until the final whistle. Universidad Católica take a three-goal lead, and they are romping out of sight. Time added on will be two minutes. Battles to win it back. Tries to get it forward quickly. And there goes the final whistle. O'Higgins thoroughly outclassed here. They came up against opponents who were better in all areas. No argument. And after all of that, Jim, what are you thinking?